How's it going everyone? Ben here, your friendly neighborhood medical student, and today we're going to be covering my entire cost of top surgery, which includes not just the cost of my top surgery, but the pre-op essentials that I bought, our travel expenses, and also some of the more post-op expensive things that we spent money on, especially when it came to scar care and recovery. The reason why I'm making this video obviously is because I've seen a lot of videos being covered talking specifically about the cost of top surgery, but not necessarily the entire cost, which means not just the surgery itself, but everything surrounding the surgery, because those other costs actually add up a lot. So I want to give a very realistic impression of how much you should expect to save up and how much you should expect to spend when you are getting a top surgery done. I'm also going to be really realistic about the costs that I spend and not trying to downplay or overplay the amount of cost that I spend on each little tidbit of my top surgery experience because I want to have a realistic impression of what it means to spend money on to getting top surgery. I got my top surgery on June 9th of 2020 at, in Dallas, Texas with the American Institute of Plastic Surgery and my surgeon was Dr. Alan Doolin. There's other surgeons in that clinic that also do top surgeries. They're specifically catered to the no drains technique and my top surgery cost was $7,000 which included the a consultation fee which was $500 but was then added to my total cost and it also included liposuction because I had a double incision mastectomy but I also had some excess fat in behind my um, chest so that was liposuctioned off to create a more masculine physique so the liposuction was also included in my total cost of top surgery you definitely want to make sure when you are talking to your potential top surgeon about any additional cost that you may have to make in case the surgeon makes additional procedures during your surgery such as liposuction some people will need that my surgeon luckily includes that in the total surgery price you should expect to pay around seven thousand to ten thousand dollars on your top surgery depending on which top surgeon you end up going with however i want to emphasize ex extreme caution when it comes to picking a surgeon that's much less than five thousand dollars there are surgeons out there that do take advantage of trans patients and i may cover that uh, in future videos so definitely make sure whichever surgeon you're going to is adequately pricing your top surgery and knows what they are doing and usually surgeons that are in the seven thousand to ten thousand dollar range tend to know what they're doing and they have quite a significant number of trans patients that they've operated on before that gives them credibility unfortunately they are more expensive but i do want every trans person when they are getting top surgery to get the best results possible as far as travel i had to go out of state uh, for my top surgery because i was in georgia and i had to go all the way to texas and i had two people helping me out to my partner dandy and my mother so the travel costs for the plane tickets were about $150 round trip for every each person. So altogether it was about $450 altogether for just planes and we spent about 10 to 11 days at a hotel and our total hotel costs were approximately $800. Now, while we were in Texas, we also had to eat to survive and drink as well, in addition to uh, bathing. So we had to buy those supplies and those supplies in total ended up being around $200. And ours were much cheaper actually because we stayed at an extended stay with uh, a stove. So we ended up cooking almost all the meals that we had. So we were able to save a lot of money on meals doing it that way now before my surgery i actually took quite a lot of supplements if you haven't seen my supplements for top surgery video definitely check it out but uh, to make sure that i healed well i had to start taking certain things before i even had top surgery so i spent quite a bit of money on that i ended up spending around 20 dollars on vitamin c tablets which helps with collagen synthesis $20 on Arnica, which helps with bruising and pain, and around $40 on Bromelain, which is another supplement that I used for bruising and swelling. And lastly, I used about $15 to spend on Zinc, which is 
a mineral that helps with collagen synthesis. So altogether, my pre-op supplements were around 95-ish dollars. I'll round it up to 100, but that's actually a pretty significant amount that I spent just on pre-op care. Then I had to spend more money on post-op care essentials, such as bandages, adhesive removers, and all that jazz. I spent about $20 on adhesive remover. However, this is something that's kind of optional, but I definitely needed it by the recommendation of the nurse that took care of me. It was very, very painful for me to remove those that the tape. Actually, the removal of the tape was more painful than the surgery itself. So I went ahead and bought more adhesive remover because they only gave me like maybe a pack of six when I came to the office so I went back online and bought more because I needed to redo my dressings for at least another week to two weeks and that adhesive remover was quite pricey because they didn't sell it in smaller packs so I had to buy the big pack and that was around twenty dollars and then I spent um, twenty more dollars on alcohol pads and um, luckily I didn't really need to spend money on alcohol pads because I had alcohol pads already from my tea shots um, but I'm just including this into the price so we can put it in the total. And then I spent about $10 on bandages for uh, my nipple dressings. So altogether, that was around $50 more for post-op surgical wound dressings and care. I'm not lying when I say that these clinics literally give you the bare minimum when it comes to including things into your top surgery total cost. Like I just got a binder and I got a solution to shower with. They didn't give me any adhesives. They didn't give me any dressings. I had to buy that all by myself. They actually told me to walk down to a CVS and buy it for myself. So just be really, really aware that they are going to give you the bare minimum when it comes to including things in your surgery cost. Now, the last section that we're going to talk about is how much I actually spent on post-op scar care, which means how much I spent after my first month after my scars have healed and started applying scar care to make sure that my scars heal properly and look the way that I wanted them to. To get the best results possible, I really invested a lot into my scar treatments. The first month after I was able to attach scar strips to my chest, I used Embrace Scar Therapy, which is a more top of the line scar treatment silicone strip that you can get online and a one month supply for me because I needed two big pieces of tape for both of my bilateral scars were around $150 which is quite a lot compared to regular silicone strips but that first month where that collagen deposition is happening and basically restructuring to create that scar is very important for me to take care of so I invested as much as I could into that healing process. So that first month was around $150. In addition to that, I bought uh, some biocurnium silicone gel. And I talked about this in another video that I've made before, but that biocurnium is really good for putting on your nipples because your nipples have a round shape. It's hard to make silicone strips that have that shape. So I used that silicone gel and like basically circled it around my nipples every morning and that was like a silicone tape for my nipple scars. So that biocurnium bottle was about $50 and it's actually lasted me more than six months. I'm still using it to this day and I'm, I'm, I'm at my like seven month post-op. So that $50 bottle goes a long way if you just apply it to your nipples. Then after that first month of using Embrace because I realized that there's no way I can afford Embrace for a total of six months of scar care, I decided to go back to traditional silicone scar strips, which has the most scientifically backed evidence and research showing that it helps with scar healing. And my silicone strips were actually pretty cheap. They were about 30 bucks for a one month supply. So if you do silicone strips for about six months, uh, that's around $180. So I did one month of embrace and six months of regular silicone scar strips. In between my silicone scar strip usage, I also did a lot of massage, manual massage of my scars. And massaging your scars help with 
um, restructuring the collagen that has been built up over time when it creates a scar. It creates a more looser scar. It allows you to have more mobility actually when you massage your scars. So I did a lot of scar massage and I used um, Mederma oil and that was around $20. However, I will emphasize that I didn't really see a benefit in using an oil when it comes to use when it comes to doing scar massage, you can actually do scar massage without any form of emollient such as an oil. You can just do it with your bare hands without putting anything on it. You can even do it with lotion if you want that oily feel and to moisturize at the same time. Uh, so the oil I felt like was a little unnecessary, but I know a lot of trans men and trans masculine individuals swear by it when they are recovering from surgery but i will emphasize that there is not a lot of scientific evidence supporting that oil helps as long as you're doing the scar massage you're doing the right thing and after my whole seven month scar treatment phase i stopped using silicone strips and i bought a giant ten dollar tube of aquaphor aquaphor is really good for keeping your scars moisturized after you're done doing scar treatments with them. And I'll probably be using Aquaphor indefinitely. I've also been using Aquaphor to do a little bit of scar massage. So if you are thinking about not getting the oil, you could also use Aquaphor for it. However, I will emphasize that Aquaphor will probably keep your silicone strips from sticking to your body. So definitely do the Aquaphor after you're done doing your scar treatments or wash it off before you apply your silicone scar strips. So those were probably my most immediate costs for top surgery in the first year. I don't plan on spending any more money when it comes to taking care of my top surgery scars. If I do, I'll make a future video about it. I mean, just, just put it in the comments if you want to see it. But altogether, I spent a total of $9,100 on my entire top surgery care list. So I spent $7,000 on my surgery and I spent an, an additional $2,100 on just upkeeping my top surgery scars. So um, be very aware that you're going to be spending far more than you realize because you have a lot of costs beyond the surgery itself. So definitely allocate for that. Luckily, I went to a reputable surgeon that did a great job on my top surgery um, results. So I didn't need any revisions. That's why I think it's very important for you to be realistic about how much you want to spend initially on your surgeon because the more you put up front, the less revisions you have to do later on um, and the less money you will save in in total, actually, and the less surgeries you have to be uh, under, under the knife on. So altogether, $9,100. Whew, I sweated a bead right there. That's a lot of money. It basically tore through all my savings when I got my top surgery done. However, I had great friends who helped raise money for me to get this surgery that I needed for my own quality of life. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this video. I hope you share it with someone who will benefit from it. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter to keep up with my daily life and my activism. And I'll see you on the next video. This is Ben.